guys, in today's video, I'm going to be doing my fourth annual Christmas wishlist video. No introduction really needed. You get the gist. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some things on my Christmas wishlist as well as gifts I think would be interesting to receive or to give this holiday season. Um, I know a lot of people have December birthdays, so I might be giving them a few things from this list. Let's get started. So we're kicking this off with the first section, which is beauty. So the first item on the list is lash serum. Next is mascara, specifically, I know the telescopic mascara is really popular. Or you can get color mascara, like blue or pink Glossier products, specifically the new Swissness Bomb.com. I love the birthday cake one. It like smells and tastes so good. So I can imagine the hot chocolate one would be good also. Next is anything from Rare Beauty, I guess specifically the blushes and maybe a small mini size of it because the big one is just like unnecessarily large and will last me years and years. Like I could probably pass it down to my grandchildren. Dior lip oil, which I feel like it might be sold out, but I'll put some dupes on the screen. According to CNN, this In Beauty Project lip oil and this Milani lip oil are good dupes for the Dior lip oil. And I also know the Rem Beauty lip oil is also pretty popular as well. Next is eyeliner, a heated eyelash curler. My eyelashes, no matter what I do to them, just refuse to stay up. I'm literally wearing mascara right now, but no one would be able to tell because my lash is just like a makeup mini set. I have a visual for this. Cause I recently bought this set. For me, it's great because I'm not super into makeup, but for like special occasions when I want to wear makeup, I'll have some because I feel like I was lacking and I would just like steal my mom's makeup all the time. But also if you are into makeup, it's great to try out a bunch of different products in miniature sizes. But yeah, this one comes with lash serum, mascara, some eyeshadow, uh, lip, lip, what is this called? Lip luminizer a rare beauty blush and i think that's it actually the last makeup -y thing is reusable makeup pads better for the environment super fun next is sorry i had to change angles but for some more beauty related things less makeup-y you can get some one hair rollers next is perfume silk scrunchies cute pimple patches like the hello kitty ones or like emoji ones matcha green tea scrub nail polish i feel like this is a great stocking stuffer face washing towels this dior body milk a hair drying towel this summer berries jerf avenue robe i don't think it's out yet but it's coming out soon and it's so cute if you're in need of a robe i feel like this is a great one to buy but yeah that's everything in the beauty and makeup section moving on to the next section which is accessories and clothes which is the most exciting section i think a little commercial break intermission for our first accessory you can get someone as some of you may know i have a jewelry business called sakai jewelry and i recently launched a line of socks that i designed and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. They're so adorable, super comfortable. As you know, I'm very passionate about comfortable socks. But yes, I'll put the link in the description and I hope you guys check it out. All the profits will be going to City Harvest, which is a food rescue organization based in New York City. But yeah, it's a great way to get some cute socks to give as gifts and also give back to the community for the holidays. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hairpins. Next is a fluffy animal hat, which is like the one thing that I want for Christmas. It's like the ones where you have the little pom poms on the bottom and when you press it, the ear goes up. I saw a girl wearing this when I was on the bus and I was like, this is destiny. I need this in my life. And then I saw her again later that day on the street, like five hours later. And I was like, this is destiny. This hat is like been trying to find me, you know, and I need to order one. So definitely something I'll be putting on my Christmas wish list. Next is a tote bag. I feel like there's so many different tote bags and also a lot of ways to personalize it. Like you can paint it if you're artistically inclined or you, if you live in New York or a place where there's a Uniqlo, you can get it personalized there and get any print you want. These bow pearl earrings. I don't have my ears pierced right now because my hole's closed up. This is a traumatic experience that I won't go into. But if I did have my ears pierced, I would definitely want these earrings. Flared sweatpants, a leather jacket, fluffy quarter zip like from Patagonia or Vineyard Vines, a puffer jacket, a cute sweater vest, a hoodie. If you're buying a hoodie for someone, you can get one that's from their favorite TV show or favorite movie. A scarf, a windbreaker. I feel like these are really popular right now, like on Pinterest. This is a belt, airy zip up, and pants set i feel like anything from airy honestly is a great thing to ask for because i feel like it's all such nice quality and like a pretty reasonable price 
compared to like Lululemon or something like that. Next is a watch. Next are these pearl earmuffs, a silk bow. If you're interested into like thrifting or you know someone that likes thrifting, you know how they have like those bundles that you can get on Depop where someone will personally shop for you so you get the items but without having to actually go thrifting. So I feel like that'd be a fun gift to get someone is a bundle of different clothes that matches like their aesthetic. This is track pants. These leggings that look like stockings so you can look like you're wearing stockings but stay warm in the winter and that's everything in the clothing and accessories section moving on to shoes i only have a few things in this section the first being strawberry crocs which are just you know you have crocs and then you have strawberry crocs you know it just makes the crocs even more iconic than they already are next is rain boots ballet flats next is loafers and last is these frog slippers from smoko honestly anything from smoko they have so many cute characters with different items and great for finding different gifts okay the next section i wasn't really sure how to categorize this section but it's just like cute activities to de-stress first is a lego set and you can get a tv show lego set and they also have flower bouquet lego sets a lot of fun options for any age because it's just fun to build and like great decor as well. Next is an annotated book. I feel like for gift giving, this just makes giving someone a book a little bit more fun, a little bit more personalized. If you have a book you're really passionate about, you write in the margins about your thoughts so you can kind of share the experience of reading the book with that person. If you're into crocheting, you can make this really cute crochet letter book sleeve. Next is a personalized paint by number. I'll put on the screen the name of the website you can go to to create your own paint by number. And going off of that, you can also get someone a personalized puzzle. Next is aesthetic slime. I feel like I've been scrolling through slime accounts recently, returning to my slime phase. Next is a cookbook. You can get like a Minecraft cookbook or like a cookbook for food from a TV show like Gilmore Girls or friends, something like that. Next is a poppet or some type of stress toy like a stress ball. Temporary tattoo markers. I don't really know why I put this in this category, but fun little activity. Next is any type of board game or card game. I put Cards Against Humanity. The next category is things for your room. So the first thing is that this thing I saw on TikTok, which is this really cute toast nightlight. Next is an incense fountain, a funny rug. They probably have a lot on like red bubble and things like that. Next is this bed I don't even know what it's called, but like backrest chair. It's just like great for your bed and I do all my work on my bed. So this has been like a lifesaver. These floating candles, very Harry Potter-esque. And a sequin reversible pillow. A lot of them are like of different people, like Harry Styles or Joey from Friends. But it's basically just, you know, those shirts you used to have from like Justice where the sequins have two different sides. You go like that and it changes design. So if you have someone coming over who you don't want to know that you have an obsession with Harry Styles, you can just flip it over to the other side. But then when you're alone again, you just flip it back and boom, you're lying next to Harry. The last thing is a jewelry trinket dish. I feel like it'd be super fun if you made it yourself, you know, pulled out the clay, pulled out the DIY skills, built a cute little trinket dish. And the next section is food and beverage. A lot of these are like kitchenware. So the first is a strawberry milk carding glass. So cute. This vegetable and fruit chopper, which went pretty viral on TikTok, but I feel like it would just make cutting fruit and vegetables so much more convenient and also be great for food prep. You can get all your chopping done and it just looks so convenient because you just you know, ice cube trays, which might sound boring, but there's a lot of fun different shapes of ice cubes that you can make with different trays. Another thing you get is also reusable ice. I got mine from Miniso and I really like it because it doesn't water down your drink and it's easy to just wash and then pop back into the freezer. It's a mushroom glass sandwich plate set. Next is this glass or like a mug with a character on the bottom, like a chai or matcha or a coffee set. So like for chai, you get them to concentrate and maybe like one of those electric whisks and then like oat milk or something like that. And then for like matcha, you get matcha powder, the bamboo whisk, maybe like some straws, things like that. Maybe they like go out to Starbucks every day and get something and you know, you're helping them save some money if you buy them a set where they can make it at home. Another thing you can get someone is a pack of their favorite drinks like if they love Celsius or Red Bull. Next is a charcuterie board, like the physical wooden board, because I usually just make mine on like a giant wooden slab that we have, 
but it's really thick and really heavy so you know it's nice to have like a smaller one that's more convenient for small gatherings or just when i want to make a nice little charcuterie board for myself cereal milk bottle where you can take your cereal and milk on the go. You can also get some glass straws or bamboo straws, cute chopsticks. If you know someone that really likes potatoes, you can get them an instant potato bag. Just put a potato in and stick it in the microwave. And it's a super easy way to cook potatoes. These grilled cheese bags, so you can make grilled cheese in your toaster. This is an air fryer, which is definitely a bigger gift, but I think I might be getting this for my mom for Christmas. We recently had to say goodbye to our air fryer. Really heartbreaking moment. And, you know, I need to help her fill that void in her life with a new air fryer. And the next category is bathroom. So the first thing are toilet bombs or poopery, a birth month flower candle. Next is a toothbrush, which, um, forget about what I said before, this is really the only thing I want for Christmas. I would be have perfectly fine if I just got a new toothbrush and nothing else, because I've been using the same toothbrush since ninth grade, and I'm a senior now. That sounds grosser than it is, like it's not like I've been using the same toothbrush head because it's one of the rechargeable ones and you just like switch out the toothbrush heads like after a few months. So I've been switching out the heads but I've had the same base. It has a lot of like little indents so I feel like it like traps bacteria. Uh, I feel like I've gone too in depth into this now but point being that I think I need a new toothbrush. And lastly is shower steamers. Technology. First we have a mini microphone. Quirky little cool girl headphones, frog crochet earbud holder. Next is a film camera, which I look you want because I try to use like editing softwares to get the film effect, but I feel like it's just not the same as using a real film camera. And the last thing is a phone case. Again, a lot of options there. And the next category is DIY. So fun little projects for you to do yourself. First is this real viewer where you add in photos, a record, paper, gift you can add in a spotify code to scan and create a playlist for the person i just feel like it's a good idea to personalize a playlist for someone and put together songs that have like special meaning to you guys or that you think they would like things like that the last category is miscellaneous a keychain a lap desk Again, if you work in bed, because when I do work in bed, I like rest my computer on my stomach, which I've heard is bad for you. So a lap desk would be nice so I can do work upright. Next is the Touchland hand sanitizer, car freshener, a hammock, a cute loofah. If you know someone that has a dog, you can get them a dog toy. And the last is this guitar pick puncher. I think we made it through the list. I think that was all. 100 plus ideas that I had for you guys, but I hope you guys liked this video. hope it was helpful and helping you add stuff to your wish list or help you brainstorm things to get other people. That was the video. See you guys next time. Peace out.